All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go over what helper springs are on coilovers, what purpose they serve, and whether you actually need them or not on your kit. So there are coilover kits you've probably seen where they have a main spring at the top, which is the normal thick looking spring, and then a very skinny spring underneath it that sits on a separate section like this. So that's what's called the helper spring, otherwise known as the keeper spring. Basically, this spring's job is actually just to keep this top spring captive. So the purpose of it is when the load is actually put on the coilover, when you install it in the car, drop the wheel in the car, this spring is gonna collapse completely and just be basically a fully compressed firm piece of metal. And then this spring does its job with the wheels on the ground. However, as you lift the car, or let's say you're hitting a curb on a racetrack and the wheel lifts, this is gonna extend, keeping this spring captive so it doesn't fall out of place and rattle around or potentially shift and not replace itself correctly and will help you retain that long stroke so the tire can keep contact with the ground longer so that's the purpose of helper springs now these helper springs are typically only on coilovers that have spring perch height adjustment so i've made a video about the difference between those if you don't know what the difference is go check out that video link will be above and in the description below but basically if the coilover adjusts by just the spring perch meaning you lower where the spring sits in relation to the damper body then what's going to happen is with this spring if it didn't have the helper you would get to a point where you keep lowering it and now all of a sudden this spring would just be loose and rattling around in there when the coilover was at full extension however by putting the helper spring in what happens is it makes it under tension the entire time even with the full extension of the whole coilover and then the spring won't rattle around and it will stay in place and it doesn't have a chance of dislodging basically now with kits that have shock body height adjustment sometimes you see helper springs but a lot of times you don't and the reason why is because you don't really mess with the actual spring perch for height you usually set the preload on the main spring leave it there and then adjust the height by the bottom that's usually how that works so that's why they don't usually have them that's why you won't see them on most of the coilovers like for example bc racing kits don't have a helper spring for this reason because they don't actually need it it's basically the spring perch ones now the question is do you actually need these springs well the answer is if you intend to drive your car safely then yeah you do need them so that this spring doesn't dislodge because if you don't have it and it's one of these coilover kits now this doesn't account for the ones that don't come with them and those you don't need them but in these ones that do have them if you remove it then this spring does have a chance of unseating itself and then not correctly repositioning now it's not going to fall off the entire coilover it can't because it's got the damper piston in the middle holding it but it's possible that it might unseat itself now realistically it probably won't but it's a risk that you probably shouldn't take now what some people do is when they want to go lower they'll actually remove this helper spring so what they'll do is they'll wind the shock the spring perch all the way down to the bottom and then if that's still not low enough this is usually the stance type people that do it but basically they'll lower it all the way down to the bottom and then if it's still not low enough you've still got this compressed chunk of metal here which will give you another like 20 30 mils sometimes to so take the helper spring out the whole thing goes lower the problem with that is at full extension nothing's holding that top spring in and then it might rattle around and, and fall off so it's not really the best way to do it but that's why some people remove them so the answer is really yes you should keep them in there if you had them if your coilovers don't go low enough you might want to consider a different kit that will go low enough like an extreme low like a bc racing extreme low or something that will get you as low as you want to go without having to make something like this that could potentially be dangerous so that's basically it for helper springs that's really all you need to know other than that they don't serve any purpose they don't actually add to the spring rate or anything like that because they fully compress as soon as the weight of the car is on them they're a very very low rate spring so that they're designed to just fully compress that's basically all you need to know if you have any questions about helper springs beyond this just put them in the comments below and i'll answer them otherwise if you're looking to buy coilovers head over to nefariousracing.com we've got a bunch of coilovers for practically every car and if you need help selecting the right coilover kit just shoot us an email through the website we'll help you out hope you guys enjoyed this one catch you on the next one